Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new, welcome. I wanna show you how to create a displacement map. So we're gonna go ahead and delete this text for now. And we're gonna go under our adjustment and we are going to apply a black and white adjustment. You wanna hold down shift and select both layers, right click, convert into a smart object. Now you want to go up to your filter and you wanna to go to blur and then you want to choose Gaussian Blair. Now this window will pop up for you. You want to make sure your radius is at one. Go ahead and click OK. So you have a little bit of a Blair effect. We want to right click and convert this back to a smart object. Now we want to go ahead and save this file. So go to File, Save as a copy. You want to rename this as Displacement Map make sure that your format is still at PSD file. Go ahead and click OK. Now I already have it, so I'm just basically replacing the file and go ahead and hit OK. So once we have our displacement map, we want to go back. So Command Z to go back to our original. So at this point, you have your text. What we are going to do is we want to right click on our text and we want to create a smart object. Now go under your filter and this time choose distort and displace. You want to make sure your horizontal and vertical are all set to three and click OK. And you are going to go ahead to choose the displacement. Now you can see that my text is sort of taking the form of the fabric. Now, the next thing you want to do is click on your text layer, go ahead and convert it into a smart object. To make a copy, Command J, make a duplicate. Now, we want to rename our displacement. So the first one, we will name it color. The second one, we will name it screen. Now, you want to go ahead and change the blend mode of your color to color you guessed it right and the screen to what to screen you're following along now we want to go ahead and double click on our screen and the layer style panel opens up you're going to hold out your command split your under layer and then you want to basically move the slider go ahead and click ok we're going to go ahead and do the same thing with the color, but this time we are going to move the right slider and you are going to set it somewhere like that. Go ahead and click OK. This is another displacement map technique. If you want to create this, I'm going to put a link in the description so you can go watch it. And guys, that is how you create a displacement map. If this video was very helpful, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye, y'all.